Science, technology and innovation can and must play a central role in achieving sustainable development. Africa cannot advance without investing in science. At present, there are efforts in our continent to enhance the status of science and to increase investment in research, development and innovation. But unfortunately, science is still at the margins of government attention. Seen as less significant than water scarcity, than food insecurity, than disease burdens. And yet, all of these can be addressed through investment in science. We hope that the forum will convince you that Africa is engaged in science and technology and that it is intent on growing its capacity for research and innovation. Our key motivation with this event is to foster public engagement on science and technology, to showcase science in South Africa as well as the continent, and to provide a platform for building strong African and global partnerships. This forum is not a platform for resolutions or declarations, but we are hopeful that when the forum closes on Wednesday, you will leave determined to do at least seven things. Firstly, to call on your governments and institutions to invest in science and innovation in Africa. Secondly, to devote increased attention to developing robust national systems of innovation. We must have ecosystems that allow a smooth flow and take up of creative ideas from knowledge generating institutions through to enterprises and industry. We need joint industry research, public private partnerships, we need technology diffusion, and we need robust movement of human capital. Third, communities must be informed about science and be encouraged to value the potential for development intrinsic to science, technology, and innovation. We must seek out and secure flagship science initiatives such as the Square Kilometre Array, as such initiatives have the potential to support Africa in its training and production of the next generation of scientists and technologists. Scientists need iconic, challenging initiatives that will respond to their search for new knowledge and innovative technology. Fifthly, we should have increased investment in the health sciences, as this will be a direct investment in improving the quality of life. Sixth, much more must be done to foster African science collaboration as well as global collaboration. Seventh, our youth must be encouraged to prize knowledge and its potential for attaining the development trajectory of Africa. If we commit to these seven, I believe we will definitely achieve the lofty goals that have been set out in our Agenda 2063 for Africa.